Good evening, good evening, good evening. Greetings. Welcome to Queen Bee's Half Hour of Jewelry Shopping Power. On this fantabulous Wednesday, March the 27th of 2024. Wow, I feel like this year is just spiraling out of control. It's like it's just fizzing on by. Anywho, today we celebrate, observe, and commemorate National Joe Day. And Joe is a form of coffee or a, a term that is used to refer to coffee. And you should have enjoyed a cup with your friends today. Today is also National Little Red Wagon Day, National Scribble Day, where kids are you usually able to display kindness through works of art. And last but not least, today we observe and commemorate Spanish Paella Day. And this is a rice dish from Spain in the 19th century in Valencia, on the east coast of Spain is where I am told it originated from. So without further ado, we got a lot of ground to cover today. I got the fashion fix sets for the month of April, and I am very, very eager to share them with you. So without further ado, we're going to go ahead on and get started with me introducing you to or presenting you the fashion fix sets for the month of April. Now, on my pages, I have displayed them um, as the fashion fix sets for the month of April on my Facebook pages, my personal page, and my Queen Bee Jewels page. And I went in this time and I added the sets in photos and then I capitalized on each piece in that set. So we're going to get started with the first set of the day, which is Sunset Sightings. And this uh, trend blend is uh, worn by women that are independent and take pride in their creative and unexpected fashion choices. They will jump at a chance to catch this Sunset Sightings trend blend because it's chaotic, it's playful, and these pieces are ripe with artistic potential. So the very first thing that we have in set one today from the Sunset Sightings collection is the Starfish Me Luck necklace. This is a short necklace. It has a lot of emphasis on uh, the design, the color. If you notice the springiness of it, we have these colorful starfish charms that swing from a markup of silver links that are anchored between strands of minty green cording. Isn't that beautiful? It has a two inch extender, so you have room to leverage it for length. It's a short necklace, so it's definitely an attention getter. And if you look at the earrings, the earrings are small silver stars, and they're, they are connected to standard fish hook fittings for pierced ears. So this is your first piece, which is the Starfish Me Luck necklace in the Sunset Sightings collection for the month of April. Now, you know, usually we always, we usually don't always, but we do have an additional pair of earrings. Ooh, with a little bit more affect. And these are the beautiful earrings. They look like starfish. They're called Written in the Starfish. And what we have here is a starfish charm in a pantone of um, a pantone of Bermuda, and it swings from a twisted silver corkscrew that is interfaced and connected to standard fish hook fittings for pierced ears. Isn't that beautiful? 
for your wrist candy, we have this beautiful, fashionable Dancing with the Starfish bracelet. And as you can see, it is the same concept of the necklace. We have these countless silver links that interlock to create this illusion of metallic netting, which anchors an array of starfish charms in a variety of colors to wrap around your wrist. Like the necklace, it too has a two inch extender, so you have room to leverage it for length. And it has a beautiful clasp closure as well. To complete this set, we have this beautiful ring that is called Wish Upon a Starfish. And this is a real teal colored starfish that is decorated in a lifelike texture that sits atop the finger alongside an unexpected spiral of silver. Let me show you. There's your unexpected spiral of silver right there. There's your beautiful teal starfish. And we have a stretchable band for a flexible fit. So that is going to complete the Sunset Sightings collection. Because I dropped the necklace on the floor at the end of the show, I will retrieve it and show you that set. So be patient. That was Sunset Sightings. Up next... We have the beautiful, alluring, exotic, phenomenal, Fiercely Fifth Avenue. And as you know, Fiercely Fifth Avenue is congruent with New York City. It, it, it consists of iridescent sheen. We have rhinestones. We have silver. We have sparkle. Oh, baby, we have this beautiful necklace that is called Fairy Tale Frost. This is going to introduce you to set number two, Fairy Tale Frost. Here we have these white teardrop and round cut gems that are coated in an iridescent finish. They sparkle brilliantly as they gather in dynamic clusters along the neckline. It features an adjustable clasp closure with a two and a half inch extender. Falls and lays like that below your collar. Comes with a beautiful pair of small iridescent white round gemstones that are capped and set in small silver frames, interfaced and connected to standard fishing fittings for pierced ears. Do you see that brilliance and that shimmer and that sheen from the light refracting on those rhinestones. Isn't that beautiful? This is the necklace from set number two, which is Fiercely Fifth Avenue collection. This is our trend blend for the month of April. This is item number one in that set, which is a necklace, and the entire set is number two. Now, if you see some piece, pieces that you would like to order, and you don't want to order the whole set, you can go ahead and comment with the set number, for instance, and the name of the piece that you want, okay? All right, now you know we have a rowdy additional pair of earrings that are called Fairy Tale Falls. So here we have a cascade of round and teardrop cut gems that fall from a brilliant solitaire that's showcasing the iridescent sheen and exaggerated faceted surface of these earrings that will hang from your lobes as a dangle. And as you can see, we start off a little bit large and then as it becomes hangs down, it gets more streamlined. It is a post. It's called Fairy Tale Fails. Fairy, I'm sorry, fairy tale falls. Fairy tale fails. Fairy tale falls. This is the beautiful bracelet. It's called Once Upon a Tiara. And I have it on this little display pillow to um, show it to you. Hey, Deborah, thank you for coming in with me this evening. 
This one is called Once Upon a Tiara. It is the bracelet for the April Fashion Fix set. This baby is bad to the core. You can dress it up or down. It features an adjustable clasp closure. You have a two-inch extender on there, and you have around your wrist a curtain of these beautiful, beautiful iridescent gemstones. Hey, cubs, good to see you. And to complete this set, we have this beautiful ring, and this ring is called Her Royal Highness. We have rows of white rhinestones and silver accents that stack up to the, the finger, leading to a solitaire gem coated in an iridescent sheen and radiating with royalty. As you can see, I'm just going to stick it on my pointer and give you an up close and personal view. It has these two rows of rhinestones. Then it has that one oversized rhinestone to give it a little bit more depth and character. So, for the Fiercely Fifth Avenue collection, set number two, this is the beautiful necklace. And this necklace is called Fairy Tale Frost. Then we come over here. We have this exotic pair of earrings that are. I call them dangles because they hang from your lobes. And they are beautiful. They match the necklace. And this is called Fairy Tale Falls. And then we wrap this around your wrist. It is an adjustable clasp closure bracelet with a two inch extender. So you have room to leverage it for size. And then for your finger, we have this beautiful Warrior Highness ring. So here we have the necklace and the small earrings, which are really two pieces, but we count it as one. Then we have the additional earrings, the bracelet and the ring. So you're getting five pieces for $21.60. Each, each piece is $5.40 each. So if you see something you like, Go ahead and comment with the set number. If you want individual pieces, just say, say for instance, you want this pair of earrings from set two. You would comment set two earrings. And if you want the necklace to match it, set two necklace. If you want the entire set, then just say set two. Okay? And that's Fiercely Fifth Avenue. Now, this next set is one of my favorites. It's from the Mag Magnificent Musings collection. Magnificent Musings is what you see on the streets of Chicago, where they say fashion begins, but I think if you said that in front of someone from New York, it might be a problem. This one is called Sizzling Strands. So this is a short necklace, but we have several strands of silver link chains that are fused in a coil here, and they connect to an adjustable class closure. You have room to leverage it. This is what I call a, a multi. You have the silver and the gold coming together. The chains are silver, and the centerpiece of the necklace is this beautiful gold ball that is threaded through all of these silver chains. Give me just a second. Sometimes on these cards, with the backs of these earrings, they are very disrespectful and uncooperative. But anywho, we have the adjustable clasp closure. We have a two-inch extender. So if we open it up, we have room to leverage it for length. Cute. Very cute. Okay? And you can always add an extender if you need to. If your neck is a little chunky like mine, you might need an extender. But for the most part, one size fits all. And so this is very cute. This is the necklace for set number three. Comes with a pair of gold ball earrings, just like the centerpiece. They're interfaced and connected to standard fisher fittings for pierced ears. Now you know that we have another pair of earrings for this. Mm-hmm. Because you know that's how we do it. Oh, let me tell you. The name of that necklace is Sizzling Strands. 
This next pair of earrings are called All Strands on Deck. How you like me now? This is what I call a love knot. And we have these strands of silver chain extending from this. And as you can see, these are all connected together. It is a post. Very nice. This is the additional pair of earrings. They're called All Strands on Deck. Then, you know, sometimes we have two bracelets. Sometimes we have a ring. This time we got two pair of earrings. Check this out. You have a cuff that just fits over your lobe, like right in here. Yeah. And it is gold with white rhinestones. You can wear both of them together in this set, or you can choose to wear one or the other. These beauties are called Sizzling Spotlight. So this is a polished gold hoop that stacks with the rhinestone encrusted band to create a glitzy ear cuff. That's what they call this, an ear cuff. Very, very nice. Then for that wrist candy, check out this beauty. We have this fascinating by show of strands. We have several silver chains that are interfaced and connected together. It's called by a show of strands. We have countless strands of sleek silver snake chains that drape across your wrist in a charismatic display of ta tangible texture. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? And then we have that two inch extender so you have room to leverage it for length. So, for the Magnificent Musing set, set number three, we have the beautiful Sizzling Strands necklace. We have the fascinating and attractive wrist candy that is called By a Show of Strands. Then we have these beautiful, elegant, and fashionable additional earrings that are called All Strands on Deck. And we set this baby all the way off with the sizzling spotlight ear cuff. Is that that nice? Five pieces, $21.60, $5.40 each. Let me tell you, it doesn't get any better. And if you watch the award shows, if you know your jewelry, you know some of those models have been out there sporting paparazzi. So they don't have nothing on us, okay? So if they can wear it, we can too. That was set number three from the Magnificent Musings Collection. So then we come on over here to California for the glimpses of Malibu because you know out in Malibu, California, where it's always sunny, it's always pleasant and mild, you gotta have a pop of color year round. Although I do hear now they're starting to get a little more weather like us. So we're gonna start this set off with the beautiful, beautiful, Reflective range necklace. This is set number four. Set number four from the Glimpses of Malibu collection. We have an abundance of visual texture. We have an abundance of vintage inspired hues that infuse in this fashionable Glimpses of Malibu trend blend with playful curiosity. Each one of these glassy beads appear pillowy to the touch which speaks to the optimistic dreamers who bring more levity to the world around them. This beautiful necklace is called Reflective Range. We have bubbly square cuts of beads that fall along the neckline and they're showcasing their shiny candy-coated finishes in vintage hues. It comes with a beautiful pair of matching earrings and this is what we call a paper a paper clip chain the earrings are paper clip as well they're in that same texture and they are interfaced and connected to standard fisher fittings falls and lays like that below your collar you have a two inch extender to leverage it for length this is called reflective orange and this is the necklace from the glimpses of malibu uh, fashion Fix Complete Trend Blend set for the month of April. Now, for your earrings, 
we understand you might want to be in sync with the colors in that beautiful necklace so we have the reflective review and these are post earrings they are translucent pink and yellow beads that gather in a geometric cluster anchoring a rounded square cut bead in a glassy orange finish look at that pop of color and they are post okay for your wrist candy we have this beautiful bracelet that opens up it is called reflective recognition here we have a pair of thick silver bands that create an open arish cuff that is capped with a cluster of glassy peak and yellow teardrops on the end and a golden yellow square on the other end. So that's that beautiful fashionable bracelet. Ah, isn't that fresh? Her name is Reflective Recognition. Now for your finger, we do have something to dress up your finger. It is called Reflective Rankin. This is the ring from set number four. So we have this trio of glassy acrylic teardrop that gathers atop a thick silver band displaying a spectrum of vintage hues and a bubbly refinement. Isn't that beautiful? So I'm just going to slip this on my pointer and give you an up close and personal view. We have a stretchable band for a flexible fit. The way they set those teardrops, that is absolutely beautiful. So we're gonna recap our glimpses of Malibu. We have this beautiful reflective orange. This is set number four. We have these fashionable earrings that are called reflective review. We have this beautiful open Irish reflective recognition bracelet and we complete the set with this fashionable reflective Rankin ring in that beautiful set number four for the month of April okay now for set number five this is one of my favorite collections this is none other than Simply Santa Fe. And as you know, Simply Santa Fe is significant of what we find in the southwestern part of the United States. We have these blissfully bohemian and layered uh, uh, beads with endless details. This Simply Santa Fe complete trend blend is a natural hit for those drawn to earthy hues and tactile trinkets. You know, with Simply Santa Fe, this is where the majority of our turquoise comes into play, okay? So, bear with me for a minute here. Let me get myself together as I introduce to some and present to others the Pequot pattern. The Here we have strands of green beading that are dotted with these turquoise stones and metallic accents, creating a free-spirited layer across the chest. This is a three-tiered necklace in beads, you know, so they layer into each other. They fall and flow. They feature an adjustable clasp closure. We have a two-inch extender here. So you have room to leverage it as well. And look at those cute earrings. They are identical to the necklace. It's in the shape of a teardrop. It is interfaced and connected to standard fishhook fittings for pierced ears. This is the necklace from set number five, which is the Simply Santa Fe collection. And it's called Pecant Pattern. Pecant Pattern. That is really beautiful. And you can dress it up or down. You can add some Pantone colors to it and brighten it up, okay? Now for the earrings, we have an additional pair of earrings because this set features, or this trend blend features turquoise, 
turquoise is always going to be accentuated in the Simply Santa Fe collection. So here we have what we call the Peppy Pinnacle. And these are textured silver discs and strands of chain that are dotted with these beautiful turquoise stones. And it creates a bohemian fringe along the edge of a thick silver hoop that is approximately one and three quarter inch, one and a quarter inch in diameter. And it is a post. It has a lot going on, but it's cute. Very, very nice. Earrings for set number five. Now, we don't have a ring for this set, but what we do have is a bracelet. This is called Poignant Pairing. As you can see, it is just like the necklace. We have a spectrum of green beads that create this capricious pattern along stretchable bands with silver discs. And we have metallic beading and turquoise stones that add free-spirited flair. Isn't that beautiful? So we actually have one, two, three, four, five pieces here. These are all individual, but you can stack them and layer them on your wrist as you like. This is called Poignant Pairing. Now, this particular set came with two bracelets. So we have this set of bangles in silver, and it's called My Interest is Peaked. We have a total of five thin uh, bracelets here that are adorned with silver discs in radiating textures that slide along a stack of silver bangles. And they create this mysterious bundle of arm candy. Very nice. Very nice bangles. Let me see if I can get them up so that you can see. I want you to see the discs. Each one has about three discs that slides along. Very nice. So to recap the Simply Santa Fe set number five, we have this beautiful necklace called Piquant Pattern. Then we have these beautiful post earrings and turquoise that are called Peppy Pinnacle. Then we have the Poignant Pairing Bracelet. And we culminate and complete this set with the second set of bracelets for your other arm that are called My Interest is Peaked. So this is the set number five for Simply Santa Fe. So, I hope you saw something you liked. I want to thank you at this time for joining me. I appreciate it. Hey, Wanisha, thank you, girl, for coming in with me this evening. I dropped my, my um, Sunset Sightings necklace when I was showing that. So let me just step over here and retrieve that. And then I'll be right back to recap, as promised, the, sun, the sunset sightings. And I do apologize. Sometimes it gets a little crowded in here. Deborah wants set number five. I know. Go ahead, Deborah. I got you, girl. I got you. Let me just do that again right quick. Set number five is Simply Santa Fe. Thank you, cuz. I got you for set five. And you have your two, you have your necklace, your two sets of bracelets here, and your additional pair of earrings. That is set five. Gotcha. Now, I just wanted to briefly, before I go, thank you, Deborah, recap the sunset sightings because for some reason when I was showing this it decided to go off to fly off of the easel the necklace easel so give me just a second and I'm going to recap set number one which is sunset sightings okay right here we have this beautiful necklace that is called starfish mean luck set number one the earrings <laughs> Oh, this set is just not being cooperative. It does not want to play with me today. Okay. So, 
Here are the earrings. They are posts. Okay, I gotta put this one here. All right. Those are the additional earrings for this starfish. This is called Starfish Me Luck. That's the name of the necklace. The earrings are written in the starfish. The additional bracelet is called Dancing with the Starfish. And we complete this beautiful set number one with Wish Upon a Starfish. Okay? So that's it for the Sunset Sightings. I thank you so much for your time and joining me this evening. I appreciate your presence and your support. Deborah, I have you down for set number five. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I will be back on here tomorrow evening with a $5 jewelry show. So make sure you're here to join me at 730. I have some vintage pieces I want to show you from my... Um, my inventory here so come on back tomorrow and join me my prayer remains one and the same until we meet again i pray that father god holds each one of us in the palm of his hand thank you so much for joining me have a good night be blessed feel free to shop my website which is listed at the top of this live feed Feel free to follow me on Instagram at JL Queen B. That's Jewelry Lady Queen B. You can follow me on YouTube at Brenda Bentley YouTube, on Facebook on my personal page, and also on Queen B Jewels page on Facebook. My prayer remains one and the same until we meet again. I pray that Father God holds each one of us in the palm of his hand. Thank you for coming this evening. Be blessed. Have a good night, and I'll see you next time. Good night.